in this video I'm going to show you how to draw and paint the Fox family in the style of Quentin Blake. So get your pens and your paints and your paper ready and let's crack on. Okay so I'm going to start off by just sketching out really lightly uh, the, the image onto this piece of paper. First of all what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do uh, a, a sort of triangle at this sort of angle. I just want to get the rough idea of where I want Mr. Fox's head and then I'm just going to um, with that then just come down and I'm going to get the shape of his head which sort of slopes down like that comes into a point and then goes back straight along sort of comes up at this angle here and then just put a couple of ears in I'm just going to do the roughly how I want the ears to look at the moment I'm not going to when I come in with the pen that's when I start to make more definite lines and then he's got his neck scarf here and he's got his his chest just on a triangle there okay and when I'm drawing what I'm not what I'm trying to do is I'm I'm not looking necessarily at the the whole picture I'm looking at the shapes within shapes so when I'm sketching I'd, I'm not trying to necessarily just draw Mr Fox I'm trying to draw the shapes that make up Mr Fox so um, just looking at the lines I'm looking at looking for the significant lines and then the part of his coat here okay now that's the top of his shoulder. Now I know that his is come down, and then that's going to be the part of his arm that comes down there. Okay. Also, what I'm doing, although I'm I'm using an image, so I'm using this image of Mr. Fox talking to his children, okay, to help me draw, okay, which I will give to your teacher so they can put it up on the board so you can look at it, okay? What I'm not trying to do is do it exactly. I'm just trying to get a feeling. I'm, I'm using my own imagination as well. So it will be slightly different, okay? But it will look a little bit like it, okay, at the same time. I don't want to spend time trying to make it perfect. So I can see from the waistcoat it comes here. Okay, and then the top of his legs starts to come here and then it's fades out of the drawing and then that's another part of his jacket and so I'm just going to draw the back of it his jacket sort of comes out like that and it's got he's got some a flap a tail as they call it at the back of his jacket so his jacket comes down and then goes up and then his arm comes round here and then his hand is a bit of a just a squiggly mess, but I'm just gonna sort of make sure that I do some fingers to make it a little bit more neat. And then on the front of his hand, I'm just gonna do some squiggly fingers. Obviously, foxes don't have fingers, but in this case, we're, we're sort of humanizing him a little bit. So some personification. We're trying to make our fox look a bit human at the same time as being a fox. So that's his waistcoat there, that's his coat. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm gonna put in his eye just here. Cody's gonna be looking at his children, just his nose. He has a nice smiley face there. And he has a couple of whiskers coming straight up. Um, and so I'm quite happy with that. I quite like what I've done so far with Mr. Fox. So now I'm gonna have, do a couple of his children sort of just come into, you know, he's obviously come home from a busy day and they all want to, they all want to cuddle. Okay, so let's just actually, let's just come down here with this. Okay, so that's the drawing of Mr. Fox. You notice I've done it really lightly because what I will be doing is I will be uh, deleting or rubbing out uh, most of the line work that I do. So the next fox is, again, it's, a, it's the, the, the faces are a bit of a triangular shape. And then all you do is you put their ears onto the top of the triangle. You slope that down and come across and then bring that back, okay? In this case, they've got their mouth open. And then this one's got a nice big wide eyes. And then on the end here, we've got a nose and we're just gonna bring that around like that. And this one's wearing, a, looks like a night dress. So let's just put that on. And they're sort of arms out, trying to give daddy a cut on. Okay, so that's, that's good. So that's the first fox, and then we've got a fox in front of that. So again, we're going to go for this triangle. Um, let's go down here, and then that's going to be slanted up. It comes up like so, 
we've got one, two, and a big I. Okay, and then another big smiley face. And again, this one, so it's slightly hidden behind, so, but again, they are going, coming in for a cuddle, so uh, let's just go a bit more like that. Okay, and then an arm out like this. Okay, I'm, at this point I am changing quite a lot of it. Okay, I'm sort of making my own now. I'm gonna do one more, although in the picture I've got, there's a few more than that. So I'm just gonna do one more, it looks really excited. So that's his body. And then actually I'm just gonna move that back a bit. Okay, and then that's his face, there's his nose. And it's gonna be smiling again. And then big ears the top and then big eye this one's sort of got its arms up in the air because he's super excited and then this arm is just going to come up here and then we're going to go down with the jacket of this fox and then this one's got a jacket on and then okay so that's my drawing so far. Now, it's quite rough, okay, and in some places I've left out detail because what I want to be able to do is when I come in with the pen, what I want to do is I want to try to be a bit more random and a bit more, just get some feeling into the drawing. So I'm not going to follow these lines exactly. In some cases, I'm going to add lines that aren't there, and in some cases, I'm just going to add new lines and not do the ones that I've done. Okay, so... First things first then, let's uh, pause it there. You can have a go at the drawing if you want to, but then I'm gonna come in with some ink in a minute, but I'm gonna go and get that ready. Okay, so for this drawing, I'm gonna use uh, a dip pen with a fountain nib, and I'm gonna use some permanent ink, um, just like Quentin Blake does. So I'm just gonna come in. Now I'm gonna work from uh, left to right so that I don't smudge it as I go. So I'm gonna work from this side and I'm gonna come this way, because the last thing I wanna do is smudge the ink as I go. So let's just come in and I'm just gonna be quite spontaneous and I'm not gonna think too much about the marks that I'm making. And also what I'm, I am looking at the drawing a little bit and I will change it around a bit, but I'm, I'm sort of making my own version of this um, here myself. So let's just come in here. So that's my box and then eye-wise. Sometimes when when, Miss, when Quentin Blake does a drawing, sometimes you look at it and really it just looks like a little bit like a scribble. That's the beauty of his work is that, you know, it looks like a scribble, but when you look at it, it just is a just amazing piece of artwork, okay? Even though it looks just very scribbly and very simple to do, okay? So there's my first fox and let's just do that there. Okay, so while that's drying, I can then come in and do the next fox. So I'm just going to move along. And in this case, um, so we've got this little girl fox. And I'm just going to come in there and just do the nose and then the mouth. Okay, so I'm not talking all the time, I'm just doing my drawing, so, you know. The problem with this method is if you make a mistake, you can't hide it, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so, you, you know, you've got to be well planned, and I know Quentin Blake, if he's not happy with it, he throws it in the bin and just starts another one. Okay, so he could get to this point, not like it, and then throw it away. So, but I'm um, just going to keep going here. Quite happy with it so far. 
Um, that's good. Just also with a dip pen, you just have to make sure you've always got enough ink on your pen. So that's his mouth. I'm going to come along there to the neck scarf. Come up the side of his head there, and then he's got some hair coming out the back. And then I'm just going to come around to this ear. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit in there, although it's not in the drawing. Okay, and then he's got his neck scarf. Right, and then we're going to come down for there. And then we've got his coat, which comes around the back, and then this this comes part of his waistcoat. I'm going to bring this down a bit because I didn't bring that far enough down. And so this part of the coat will come down there. And we're going to come around. And that's going to come so. And then the arm here is quite scribbly in this drawing. So um, it's going to bring that round like that. And then that's there. And then just change this hand very slightly. Okay, and then this is it's quite scribbly because this is part of his fur, and then this is hand there, and then with this one I'm just going to bring this round, I'm just going to bring that round, and then back of his coat, and then that's going to come out of the back there. Okay, and then the last part here it's going to go like that. I'm just going to give it a title, which is hashtag the fox. Family. And then in this case, because this one will be given away um, as a prize, or I'm going to just sign this one N21 because that's my signature to show that I've done it. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come in and do some watercolour. Okay, so you can see what I've done here now. I've just gone in and, and rubbed out all the pencil marks. You have to make sure your ink is very dry before you do that, otherwise you just smudge it. And what I've done here is I've, I've just mixed up the fox's fur colour into my palette, and I've done enough to do all the foxes. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to now paint the fox's fur. Now, when you look at Quentin Blake's drawings, you can see he does miss out little bits. Okay, he doesn't worry if he goes over the lines. He tries to be as precise as he can, but he doesn't, you know, it's, it's not perfect. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to just think about the fox's fur and I'm just going to come in and, and paint the fox's fur, but leave this little bit along the bottom. There's a white patch on the bottom of the fox's chin. Okay, and so I'm just going to be aware of that, and that's going to come into there. And I'm just going to come in on this section, and then down on the bottom of his bottom half. He doesn't wear any trousers. His hands. Okay. And then his hands here are that colour too. Okay, so that's... Mr. Fox's um, head, and then let's go with these guys here too. So I'm just going to do his hands, um, and then let's go around this little foxy. Mm -hmm. and then he's got his chest, and then I'm going to do this one. This one in the background, let's do that with, with a lighter wash. So I've just added a bit more water to this one. Okay, because it's a bit further away. Okay, and that's going to be that. Hands. Let's do the hands of this one. Okay. Right 
there. Check how Mr. Near the fur out. Right, so that's the fur of our foxes. Next job is to mix up some colour for Mr. Fox's jacket. So it's a nice pinky red. So I'm just going to mix it up. Uh, a bit more red in there. So let's go with this colour here. I haven't got the exact colour for Mr Fox's jacket, so I'm going to have to go a little bit redder for this one than I would like, but it's okay. Okay, that's his jacket. So that's Mr. Fox's jacket. And then uh, what we've got is some yellow mixed with a little bit of brown for the waistcoat and this fox's um, pajamas, I think they are. So I'm just going to mix up a bit of yellow here. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of very light brown or yellow ochre into it. Okay, just to create a nice browny colour. Actually, let's just take some of this one. So then we're going to come down to here. We'll do the waistcoat. Then we'll do this fox's pajamas. Okay, so that's that one. And let's come in now and do the. This little fox has white with green spots. Okay, so I'm just gonna create some green. I'm gonna use some of that yellow to make some green. Okay, so in this time, all I'm gonna do is just put some spots onto this fox's night dress. Okay, good. Right, next bit then, this last fox over here, he's got a blue um, top, so I'm just going to get mix up some blue, and then I'm going to come in, and mix up, and that's our fox there. Okay, and actually he's got some of that yellow as a neck scarf, so let's put that in there as well. Okay, well that's it. And then the final colour we're going to need is some blue for the neck scarf, and this one has a little bit of blue as well. So. We're just going to mix up some nice clean blue. And then we're going to come in and just do that there. And then on the next scarf here, I'm just going to do some dots. And so there. All right, so we are pretty much Done. I'm just going to put some dots here and then put some pen in later. So that's um, the first wash done. I'm just what I'm going to do is add tags and texture. I'm going to come in and do some of that fox colour now that it's dried. Okay, I'm going to put some of that fox colour in again and just add some texture in. So just in places, maybe around the eye. Okay, on this ear here, just add a little bit of depth. Okay, and then here. some of that red I'm just going to use some of that just in places to just suggest some shadow uh, Quentin Blade doesn't really do this but I just thought if just to add a little bit more detail now last thing I nearly forgot is uh, the black noses so I'm just going to come in here mix up a bit of black then I'm just going to come in one nose two nose three nose four nose Okay, and there we have it. We have our 
Mr. Fox and his family welcome him home after a night of catching chickens. So there we go. Um, have a go at drawing your own. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll join you soon with another video on how to draw like Quentin Blake. See you soon. Bye.